Praise the name of Jesus. I want to welcome you to a word for the Lord this Wednesday night. Don't forget that this weekend we have Easter programs, Friday morning 10 to 12. It's our yearly Easter service. And on Saturday, all men, we have the King's Men's Conference at the Wonder City, but the service on Friday will be at the Robot Cathedral. And on Sunday, Robot Cathedral again for the uh, Restoration Pass service, which will be one service, one service, 8 a.m. And then on Monday, all youth, all the way to the Wonder City for your annual Youth Alive Conference. Winning praise. Until you praise excessively, you cannot be blessed by God exclusively. You win by praise, you lose by more money. 30 days journey, a 40 days journey rather became 40 years misadventure because they refused to praise him in the wilderness. Now, God should be the object of that praise. The praise that wins has God as the object, not you, not man. You are not to collect praise, you are to give praise. So when you are dancing and singing and you are collecting money <laughs> on your head, on your chest, that's not praise of God. Though. Nebuchadnezzar, you remember what happened to him? He said he walked through the, uh, the, his uh, kingdom. He said, this is what I have made. God said, no, glory must be to me. You need to learn some lesson with the animals. In Acts chapter 12, you read about Herod on his bad day. They said, this is no other thing but God. <laughs> and the angel of God smote him. Don't take praise. You are to give it. Don't take glory. You are to give glory. That is the kind of praise that win battles of life. When God is the principal focus, not man, not flesh. God is a spirit. And they that worship or worship him in spirit and in truth. I want to pray for you today that the, the focus of your praise will never be flesh again, but the spirit. The Bible said the spirit lusted against the flesh. To be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually managed in life and peace. God remains the focus of your praise from this hour. No longer you, no longer your ego, but God's glory and alone and alone. And as you glorify him, he will dignify you. As you honor him, he will honor you. And it shall be well with you and yours in the precious name of Jesus. Say, say a loud amen. That's how far we can go. Keep praising God and you keep winning <clears throat> all battles of life. In every situation, give praise. For that's the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you and I. I'll see you for the question of this tomorrow, same time and same station. God bless you and keep you. Bye for now.